Hi, I'm Shannon Tupas. I'm an Andis educator, and today I'm going to show you a pet trim on a Lakeland Terrier. So let's get started. This dog has been bathed, dried, and all of the prep work has been done, so we will start by brushing with the Andis Slicker brush to separate and divide the coat. Next, I am using my Andis stainless steel comb to make sure the dog is tangle free. After I have the coat prepared, I will use the Andis Pulse ZR2 with a five blade on the jacket. Starting behind the occiput, I clip the neck down the top line toward the tail. I clip the sides of the jacket on an angle following the growth of the coat. Make sure to clip past the spring of the ribs to the underside of the dog. A common mistake is to leave a skirt on this breed. That is an incorrect pattern. Now, clip the rear to the hock, skimming off the thigh for a natural transition. Clip the tail with a number five blade and neaten with thinning shears. Next, I am using a seven blade on the chest, from the throat down toward the table. Blend this into the clipper work you did with your five blade. In the throat area, use a seven blade in reverse under the chin. Now, I will scissor in the legs and trim the feet. I start by combing the foot out and trimming into a round shape. Next, I fluff up the legs and trim with straight shears from the top of the leg and into the foot I just finished. You can use thinning shears to neaten and shape if needed. Trim underline as needed as well. Now I will start grooming the head. On this dog, I will use a 30 blade on the ears, but you can use a 10 or 15 length if desired. Clip the entire ear inside and out. You can neaten the edges by brushing them out and using your shears to remove any stray hairs. Use your finger as a guide to know where the ear leather is before scissoring. Next, I am using my seven blade to clip with the grain on the top of the head. I clip into a triangular shape from the outside corner of eye to the outside corner of eye. Then, I use a seven blade against the grain on the cheeks, clipping from the ear right to the outside corner of the eye.
Finally, for the face fall, I will use my thinning shears from the outside corner of the eye toward the center of the nose. I then comb the face fall forward and use my thinning shears to trim any hair covering the nose. Blend to neaten the entire face. Thanks for joining us. To learn more, check out more videos across andis.com.